what is going on guys welcome back to the table of madness and in today's video we are going to take a look at pokemon scarlet and violet 151 premium collection box i am excited to crack this open with you guys and we're basically going to be asking a very simple question is it good value or is it hot trash all right you guys we are all set let's get this video underway so pokemon 151 i gotta say so far um my luck with 151 has been 50 50. i've had some good pulls i've never really had some like bad pulls and bad pack openings or anything uh so i'm very curious to get into this and ooh, promos are a little loose there this is a big box so the presentation on this box is phenomenal way better than the charizard premium box and i mean like way better like they outdid themselves with this box this might be a box that i actually keep this is very pretty so i'm gonna go ahead and take everything out of here we got all the packs the play mats very very nice you guys can see presentation is well done you do get these promos that are kind of hidden right inside there on the very top part um they're loosely put in there so i kind of don't like that i wish they were a little tighter fit there i mean i'd be i'd be afraid the cards fall out but they did not fall out this time, so let's go ahead and take everything out. We do actually get a nice little deck box. Coins, dice, typical things you need to play Pokemon. Go ahead and put that off to the side. Put that there. Let's go ahead and take these promos out very, very gently. We do get a gold Mew. So, I don't understand this. So you get a slot, you can just push them up and they come right out, but for the Mew card, can't do that, so I don't know why we, we do it for two out of the three cards, but we don't do it for the Mew. That doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense to me, but whatever. And that's a gold-plated Mew. It's a very, very nice card. This is something I can get behind Pokemon doing some more of these premium boxes for each set. Comment down below if you guys would like to see each set have its own premium collection box because i gotta be honest this is really nice it is expensive i won't lie about that i paid 121 for this box so again we'll see if it's good value let's go ahead and readjust my camera a little let's go ahead and bring it closer all right got my camera readjusted there had to push it so far up because that's a big box but there we get a mew card right there nice gold plated mew we get another beautiful promo mew right there the mew ex and then we get a Mewtwo. E, uh, not a Mewtwo EX, sorry, just a regular Mewtwo. I thought it was an EX card, but it's not. So three excellent promos. I like that. I really like that gold play. I mean, next up, we do get this lovely play mat. Look how beautiful love the colors on this play mat. This will probably be my play mat for Pokemon openings going forward. This is really, really nice. I had the Charizard one. And I still have that one, but this one, man, the colors are just spectacular on this. Look how nice that pink really stands out. So really, really nice. I probably got to iron this thing out. It's got wrinkles all over. And then, like I mentioned earlier, there is this uh, deck box. Go ahead and see if we can crack it open. See if we get. Do we get any sleeves with it, or is it just a deck box? So let's see. Is there any sleeves inside? Doesn't sound like there is. So it seems like instead of getting sleeves, we actually get a nice quality deck box. This is something too I thought Disney Lorcana with their treasure troves and stuff like that could have done. They could have done just a nice simple deck box. Instead of getting out those two crappy cardboard ones that they did. But again, that's for a totally different video. And then we get some nice coins and a dice. Alright, now for the big question here. We get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus another 8, so that's 16 packs, and we're going to see how good my luck is to see if we can get as many fire pulls here. Alright, you guys, pack number 1, let's get into this. Let's see what we can get. Alright, pack number 1, here we go. Daisy, Venomoth, Rapidash, Erica, Psyduck, and Nidoking, and a foil. Basic entry, so a lot of foils in that pack, so that's pretty good. And like I said, my luck so far with 151 hasn't been great. I would say it's pretty much just average. I haven't really gotten... I've gotten a couple of good pulls, but I haven't gotten any of those main pulls. I'm looking for one 
main pool, Zapdos, uh, Charizard, anything. Erica would be great. I can just dig any solid pool. Marowak. Hey, Psyduck. And it seems like the census is out. Everybody wants to get a master set of this set, and I cannot blame them. I've said it before. Master sets, 151, Pokemon Original, anything like that, the nostalgia is in. And this set's just going to hold its value. This set is not going anywhere anytime soon. Definitely a good set to collect. All right, next pack. Let's see what we got here. So we got one pull so far. So I'm taking that. Oh! Oh, Mew EX Secret Rare. Okay. All right. Put that in a sleeve immediately. Nice pull there. Excellent, excellent pull there. So, two promo Mews and then a Mew EX. Put a little icing on the cake for that one. Excellent pull there and a star me. Oh, there you go. You guys can get a code card. That one was revealed, so code card for that one i usually don't reveal the code cards i actually play the game online and i'm debating on making some content for you there so let me know also let me know comment down below you guys feeling this set i mean like i said last time i made a video for pokemon 151 a lot of people were saying this is the set i'm gonna master in um it definitely seems like that's like the consensus state is just like ooh, gangscon ex is that everybody just wants a master set of this one even people that are not the biggest Pokemon collecting fans or, uh, you know, doing like the people that are not, really don't generally do master sets. There are a lot of people telling me that, yeah, I was going to master this set and probably do another master set. Basically one to keep and one to sell. And I don't blame them for that at all. I think the set's not going anywhere. I think the set's going to be here to stay. Um, I think the set's going to be very similar to the Crown Zenith set. Crown Zenith was a very, very popular set, a very fun set to pull. Uh, I think Pokemon 151 not only is going to be a better set than Crown Zenith, and that's just because I just think long term this set's just going to hold value. Uh, it's nostalgia, it's the original 151 Pokemon. It's just a great set for people to. Ooh, four foils again, not bad. Great set to master in. And it has brought a lot of people back to either A, collecting, and B, playing, because people just remember playing. The original 151. I think Pokemon is just in a similar boat to Yu-Gi-Oh. I think Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh can both benefit from um, creating a whole new format. I think the first one to do that are going to get a lot of old and new players to return to the game and bring in a lot of new players as well. If they can do a new format and they can do it correctly. That doesn't mean just because you make a new format it can't just be a crappy format. It's got to be really good. What that looks like, I don't know, man. I just feel like they can just, they would really benefit from a format change, both Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! Because they've just kind of been old Captain Steady, Steady Eddie, basically. Haven't really created anything great as far as the card game. It's just a lot of people enjoy collecting it as well. So it's kind of just kept them afloat. Plus, they've just been an OG. Pokemon's an OG, Yu-Gi-Oh!'s an OG. And they've always been the beneficiary of just being that top card game so but i really do think if they can come up with a new format that can excite new players and bring back some old players that they may or may have not lost but i just think the first one to do that can really benefit and really capitalize oh charizard ex so this box is really good to me right now we pulled a Mew EX, and then we pulled a Charizard EX. Anything Charizard, always going to be good value. Absolutely always going to be good value. So we pulled a Mew EX, Charizard EX. EX is being very good to us. Man, if we can get one more pull, I'm very confident in saying this box, good value, man. We get 16 packs. And because this set is not a booster box set, that is really crucial because the pull rates are pretty good. They're not bad. I mean, you're seeing all, look at that. It's like the third pack with four uh, foils in it. That's excellent. That's what you just want to see. All right, next pack here. Abra, Magneton, Nidoqueen, Victory Bell, Weeping Bell, Scyther, and Aerodactyl. And like I said, because of this set is just not a booster box set. The pull rates, like I said, this set is just very similar to Crown Zenith. 
there's good alternative products that you can go purchase both uh, high value and low value and then the pull rates are just pretty good and a lot of cards to collect Venusaur EX all right this is another good pull it's Venusaur EX Ooh. and one thing too I also noticed too is this set actually has gone up most sets when they come out give it about a week or two and they usually dip in value this set not only holds value, some of the cards actually went up. And that's just because this set has a lot of good meta cards as well. Cards that people want to build decks with. Alright, now I'm going to be selfish. I want one more. Ooh, Moltres. I want one more pull, man. I don't care. Another EX card of some sort. Just give me something. We're down to our final two packs. And like I said, you also get these three promos, which is just... Promos are really good. There's that. Arcanine, Tauros, and Gyarados. All right. Here we go, guys. Last pack. Let me get some last pack magic. All right. Come on. Last pack magic here. Let's see. Onyx, Dragonair, Seedra, Bulbasaur, Polyrath, and Dodrio. And a foil basic energy that is the fourth or fifth pack. So not bad, let's go ahead and do a quick recap. All right, you guys, full recap of this box. So we did get, um, actually these are the promos, excuse me, this is the Mew EX. Nice, really gold card there too. Foil all around, beautiful, very hefty too. Our other promo was a Mew EX, a Mew 2. And then for our pulls, we got an actual Mew EX, Secret Rare, Psyduck Full Art, Kangaskhan EX, beautiful, Charizard EX, love this card. And then we got a Venusaur EX. If you just take all the contents of this box, including the play mat, the amount of packs you get, the promos you do get, the play mat, uh, even the, like I said, even this little deck box, it's, this is really good value. I think this is better than the last premium box we saw from the previous set. It also does help that Pokemon 151 is not a booster box set. So because of that, the pull rates are much better than the previous Scarlet and Violet set. For the Charizard Premium Box, it still was an actual booster box set, so the pull rates were very bad. That booster, uh, that set did not really hold its value very well, and those Charizard promos didn't hold their value very well. This one, this set is holding its value, and I think that's a large part because it's not a booster box set. I think Pokemon should do a little more of this, but I want you guys to comment down below. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is good value or think this is hot trash? Me, personally, I'm going to say good value. And that's going to do it for this video. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please hit that like button. If you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are.